All right, what's up everybody out there on YouTube? Bryce and Michael RC here, and it's been a while. Here's the thing. Football season starts, and I kind of lose my mind. I kind of focus entirely on that, and I forgot all about the fact that the giveaway helmet that I made has been made for a while, and I just, football season started, and I blanked out on everything. And then the Mandalorian Season 2 came out yesterday and we I was so pumped about it we were watching and I was like oh crap it's just been sitting on my table so <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys the giveaway helmet what it looks like and all that different stuff I apologize profusely um, to Jaden because I should have sent this a long time ago I'm not gonna be able to get it out this weekend so it'll have to be um, when I get off work after five on Monday I'll probably <clears throat> put it in the uh, take it to well I can't take it to the post office I'll have to figure something out uh, because the post office closes before I get out so I might just do it on my lunch break or something and, and head on out and stuff so uh, I was pretty excited I was watching season two and they showed we were we were kind of let down because the guy I don't know if I should give any spoilers uh, the whole Boba Fett thing and we we saw the Boba Fett armor and, and all this different stuff and then the very ending we were just like oh my god like I don't want to give too much away but season two Mandalorian is awesome awesome and it's almost the perfect segue to go from the Mandalorian yesterday to showing you guys the giveaway helmet today that is complete and finished and will be mailed out to, to Jaden here soon so I just apologize I've, I've been I've been busy and focused on something completely completely different and as soon as I got focused on that I just and I haven't checked any of my social medias or anything so I'm sure he's probably messaged me because he's he's been uh, very, um, man, I, I, I probably should check it now, but <laughs> it's coming. Here we go. I'm going to show you guys real quick. All right. So here is the Mandalorian helmet. You can see got a little bit of weathering on it I think it looks way better than my Mandalorian helmet actually I might get up and show you guys this one compared to my Mandalorian helmet I kind of want this one more than I, I want that one but it took me a long time uh, to get the visor situation worked out on the inside because this is uh, I think it might be designed by the broken nerd and you guys can see how the forehead and the front part here doesn't line up this sticks out just a little bit further and so it's really hard to get that visor in, a solid visor. The way that I do visors, it needs to have kind of a flat surface area. And it, it ad adheres pretty well. Um, but this one, it, you kind of have to bend this front part forward. And I think if you move it in a light, you can kind of tell that that's kind of what I had to do. Um, but I got it on there. And the crappy thing about it was it's the Mandalorian such a thin visor that the typical way that I do this um, the plastic that I use kept shattering and breaking as I as I tried to form the the visor part to it and I think I went through I get these big pieces of clear plastic and I usually you know you guys have probably seen the videos and stuff and watched along what I typically do is is I take a, a cut out and I trace you know the what the visor should look at I put I put a piece of paper on the inside and I trace it along with the visor then I use that as a reference and, and put it on the, onto the glass. Well, not glass, but the clear plastic. And then I kind of uh, score the plastic, and then you can just pop it out. And it's pretty easy. It's a pretty easy process. I've never really had any trouble with it until this one. And that's because the pieces are so thin that whenever you get to this area right up here, it wants to split this way or that way. And so I had to find a new way to do it, which I like having things that I struggle with because if, if you struggle with something you can learn from it and so I, I figured out a new way to cut these and cut them a little bit more precise and make them a lot better and what I did is I took my Dremel and I actually uh, put a sanding disc on it and I cut it out cut the visor out with the sanding disc and it was perfect so it has a little bit of like melted plastic when you get done with it but all you have to do is run your hands along and pop it right off and and it works well so it's a lot quicker than the method that I used before so I'm actually glad for that so let me get up real quick because I am live um, just because I wanted to get this out of the way I'm, I'm in the process of making a, a review video 
And so I didn't want to have to edit two videos tonight, so I figured I'd do this one live. And plus, I really wanted to get out, because I remembered last night, and I really wanted to get out and let Jaden know that this is coming. It's coming. So, I'm going to get my other Mandalorian so I can compare them to you. One second. Alright, so this one is Jaden's, and this one is mine. Let me try to situate my mic here a little bit. So you guys can see both of them in frame. See, I think this one looks a little bit more clean. And just more accurate. And this one looks a little bit more... Uh, can't explain um, like a clone trooper helmet more like more or less so and it doesn't have the correct front piece right up there on the forehead uh, but other than that the detail in this is is amazing I actually I really really like this helmet but when it comes to comparison I think this is just the better helmet overall the way that it looks the way that it's shaped and all that different stuff I really do I think this is just the better helmet so I'm going to try this on real quick and show you guys. This has actually got a darker tint to it than my other Mandalorian helmet too. So I don't have any foam inside of this on the inside. And I'm probably going to send it to him like that uh, along with some red tint that he requested a while back. <clears throat> and the reason I don't have any foam is because it fits a little tight and, and it, it looks really good and it looks the size that it is and I didn't want to mess with anything and have him have to adjust the foam or anything so you can Jane you can put the foam in however you want to uh, just go out and get some they got real cheap foam at Walmart you can go get uh, but you can go out and get that and just put it in yourself it's it's really really easy and if you need some help I can walk you through it so let me let me show you what this looks like on There you go. That's what it looks like on. I think it looks really, really good. Really good. Oh, here's the back of it too. Let me show you both of these, the back of both of them. So you can see the design difference in both of them and the design difference in I, I may like this one a little bit more on the back design um, the the difference in these is this was all part so this helmet here you can get from Thingiverse and it's the whole helmet so every piece is just already connected and on and then it's cut up into pieces you put it together this one here I probably should have got situated before I did this. This one here, the that top mohawk part is separate. The ear pieces are separate. And the back piece is a separate piece. So you can print everything and then paint it all or do whatever you need to do. And then you put those pieces on. So it really separates the pieces themselves and make it, makes them look like individual pieces. Which I think is great and probably a better design. And had this one been designed like that, this one would be a way, 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 way better helmet. Because uh, there's some parts in this, uh, like the front part here. If you watch the Mandalorian, you can really tell that this mohawk is a, is like a separate piece resting on top of the helmet. Uh, but there was just no way to do that in this. I tried to, I tried to up the definition of it a little bit and see if I could get some more. I even took a Dremel in here and spent a lot of time really going down these sides and lines these lines here they were so shallow that i actually had to go through here with the dremel and deepen the lines out make them a lot more pronounced and bigger and here in the front so i spent a lot of work on all that stuff my hair's everywhere i gotta get my hat back on yeah i, I spent a ton of time uh trying to get these to look like 
separate pieces. And that's just something that I, I really just couldn't do to the back. I, I tried it. I tried to get some more definition out of here. Took the Dremel and really kind of got in here and, and then into the back to show the difference between these two pieces. But when it came to this part right here, <clears throat> I really kind of just left it how it was. So that was one of the bad things about this design and about this print. It's just the fact that it's it's all together. There's no separate pieces to add on later. It's all together. So even when you add paint and add Bondo and stuff, it just builds up on it. And then you have to go in and, and really bring that detail back out in it. And then the fact that the face part is is out, you know, past the forehead. So it makes it harder to put the, put the uh, visor in. And if you noticed, if you look at the difference in the visors, this one's wider than this one and I like it it looks a lot better but you can see that this one is perfectly aligned as this one's not but I think this is more accurate you guys can let me know tell me what you think this one's a little bit taller you can see than this one is but I think just by looks and everything this is just a lot more accurate so there's there's things I would have liked to make different changed but overall, it was. I'm glad. Hold on, my thing's staticking. Had to fix it. I heard it staticking or something. I haven't used all my equipment in a while, and I kind of just like threw it together and set it up. So I apologize about that. But what was I saying? Oh yeah, overall, it's a it's a really good helmet, and I really enjoyed building it. But there's just a few little things that he could do different. And I think it's a broken nerd who did it. I could be wrong. Uh, there's just a few little things that I would change. And that is to separate this piece here. Let you add it on later. Bring the front back a little bit. And make the ear pieces separate pieces along with the back. And and then this would just be... Whoop, this would just be the perfect helmet. Uh, but it looks good. I had a lot of fun doing it. It was really frustrating. And Jaden can attest to this. Because we messaged each other back and forth, and, and I had so much trouble with this. <clears throat> From the paint, to the visor, to... Uh, at one point, I had to go and strip all the paint back off and rebondo the whole thing and, and start all over from the beginning. Uh, because I had a little mess up that I just couldn't fix the way that I wanted to, and I couldn't get it the way that I wanted to. So, uh, it's just one of those things. You learn. You live and learn. I when it, When it comes to, like, giveaways and something that's going to somebody... Uh, outside like commissions and giveaways I want to make them as perfect as can be the ones that are on my shelf I don't really worry too much about because you know I can I can get them to look good and they're just going to sit on my shelf um, but I want somebody to be able to take this and not just wear it or not just put it on the shelf and stuff but actually be able to wear it in cosplay maybe or <clears throat> you know something and I try to put a little bit of extra effort into it and typically what happens is uh, i Put a, you overthink things, put a little bit too much into it, and then suddenly it's like, oh, i got to start all over from the beginning. So, yeah. What's up, Naughty Mark? Yeah, I haven't been on here for a while, so. And that's that's the reason why. I mean, it's it's been a few months since I've really gotten on and, and done anything. And the crazy thing is we're about to 3,000 already, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so I'm going to get this out to Jaden and... Hopefully when football season ends, I can kind of focus on a few more things. Today what I did is uh, I took all my batteries because I made a really big mistake and I left all my drone bat. I haven't, I haven't even flown. I haven't flown my drone in, since about five months ago. And the last time that I flew my drone, right after I got done flying, I recharged all my batteries and I left them charged the entire five months so I went out this morning and I actually I, I t went through all the batteries I flew it really slow to see if I could save any of the batteries only one was bad the rest of them uh, seem to be pretty good but I'm recharging them and I'm gonna have to do some testing on them to make sure that some of my batteries still work um, but I'm going through and trying to trying to see all that because I really miss flying so I want to get back up in the air and Andre the guy that I fly with he uh, got a little bit of an inheritance, and, and he's been texting me pictures and stuff of his new iFlight drones and stuff, and they look beautiful. He just got to build a, a couple new drones, 
And so it just got me like eager. I, the other day I flew my little mini quad, my, not my mini quad, but my little tiny whoop uh, through the house, just messing with the animals and stuff. And I was like, I got to get my drone back in the air, my mini quad. So I went out this morning and I, I flew slow. I was, it, it sucks having to hold back. I couldn't do any tricks or anything. I was just trying to drain the battery safely and down to where I could just recharge it. And so, uh, that's what I did. Now they're, now they're recharging. I, I let them set a little bit. Now they're recharging and hopefully, hopefully the, the, the batteries that are left save the one that was bad because one of them was bad immediately and you could tell, but other than that, I think the other ones are good and hopefully they stay good and they warn you and I've warned you, I've made videos on this about how not to leave your batteries charged. And it's just one of those things. Um, I started this new job and I told everybody on YouTube that it was going to affect things and it was in the middle of summertime and every time that I got off work it was just like I was so drained I didn't want to do anything else so I didn't make any videos and it's just like it stopped immediately and I didn't even think about anything else uh, save making the Mandalorian which I, I've been working on the Mandalorian but uh, as soon as football season started it's just been like football season's my thing it's my thing so I'm the vice president of youth football, so I, I'm real excited about football season every year. Uh, I'm ready for it to be over with now. <laughs> like I'm pretty much done with the season. We've got a couple more weeks left, but I'm, I'm basically done with it. Um, <laughs> but up until this point, that's, that's kind of just been my life. And then the Mandalorian season two happened. I mean, braden has been excited about it all week. Mandalorian season two is coming. Blah, blah. And then all of a sudden we sat down and started watching the first episode, and it was like I still haven't mailed that out to Jaden. <laughs> it needs to go out to him. So congratulations, dude. I, I'm I'm happy for you. And this this tends to happen. You can ask Naughty Mark. Uh, he he waited a while for his helmet, but that had to do with customs and things like that. Uh, be, cost a lot of money to ship it overseas. That's why we kept this one in America. Um, but that that tends to be the thing. But hell, it's a giveaway. That's what it is. You know, you're being given something. I guess you can't complain too much. Right. If, if I mean, you want it, right? You picked it out. You want it. So, so you can be a little bit frustrated and I get that. <laughs> uh, 3000 is coming up soon and I haven't decided if I still want to do it, some type of giveaway. I'm not really big into YouTube much anymore. So just, just kind of cut my head down working. I'm going to be making a review here soon and I've got, got a couple other re reviews that I'm doing, but I haven't even ran my 3d printers since I built it. The Mandalorian was the last thing that I printed and I haven't printed anything else since. <clears throat> and it hasn't really been a big thing on my mind flying the drone has but not not printing uh like i explained in the last one it's just one of those things that when i'm not at home i don't want the printer going because i don't want it to burn burn my house down if something goes bad like a wire gets crossed or something so out of safety reasons you know uh but i i really don't i, I need to print the psycho ranger that's one and i've been thinking about that a lot lately i do need to build the psycho ranger and get it done so i think i might fire it back up Maybe not this weekend. After football season's over, I may fire it back up just to build the Psycho Ranger and make some videos of that while while going through it and stuff. But probably won't get the videos up to up to par where they used to be, where we where I was putting out like a video a week of cosplay and stuff. Because I got other things to do. <laughs> but I appreciate everybody appreciate everybody that gets on here. I read everybody's comments. And I've had a lot of comments lately about a lot of the old videos. There's there's a lot of new people coming into 3D printing for the first time. And I've got a lot of videos that, that help people who are starting out on building helmets and running the programs, running Mesh Mixer, running Blender, and, and all these different things. i got a lot of, uh, of videos showing you how to do that. And I've had a lot of people getting on and, and thanking me for for the videos and stuff and I've I've talked back and forth with a lot of people so I'm I'm staying active on that and talking to people on YouTube and stuff but like Facebook, Instagram, I really haven't been on that much anymore. But I'm going to pop a, a picture of this Mandalorian for Instagram before I I send it off and then Jaden you should have it in a couple weeks. Well, not a couple weeks. It'll be sooner than that. Probably by the end of the week, probably by next weekend. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe it'll be still sitting on my sitting on my table because I'm so forgetful. <laughs> that would be. So... <laughs> Anyways, I'm Bryce and Michael RC. Make sure that you go and check out other videos and stuff if if you'd like to. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you want to, and leave a comment if you watch any videos and you enjoy any any sections. Leave me a comment if you have hate, nothing but hate and bad things to say. Keep it to yourself. 
We'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.